With just days to go until the German election on Sunday, outgoing Chancellor Angela Merkel has hit the campaign trail with her would-be successor Armin Laschet. It is the last-minute bid to boost his popularity with voters. Merkel and Laschet visited the northeastern city of Stralsund, where Merkel first won her Bundestag seat back in 1990. Now, after 16 years as chancellor, Merkel remains very popular in Germany. In contrast, Laschet, who wants to take over the top job, has struggled to connect with voters. He's badly in need of a boost. And let's get more now. We are joined by political correspondent Anja Koch. Anja, how much of a boost could Merkel give Laschet, especially at this late stage in the campaign? Well, the CDU is certainly hoping that it will be a boost uh, for Armin Laschet. Uh, what's remarkable is that this has been one of the very rare appearances of Angela Merkel and Armin Laschet uh, together. Uh, during this election campaign, it hasn't happened very often that we see that we have seen the two of them uh, together on one stage. Uh, Angela Merkel, for most of the election campaign, um, had stayed out of the campaign. That was met with criticism within her own party, within the CDU but also within, uh, for within her sister party, the CSU. So Angela Merkel now stepping up and campaigning together, for, uh, together with Armin Laschet and for Armin Laschet is certainly meant, um, certainly meant to give him a boost. What is the mood, Anya? Because, I mean, Merkel's conservatives, they have edged up a percentage point in the polls, but they're still lagging behind their main rivals, the Social Democrats. The election, now just in four days' time, are they worried? Well, in his public statements and interviews, Armin uh, Laschet stresses that he is still confident and that he is optimistic that the CDU will win this election and that he is going to be Germany's next chancellor. But it is, however, obvious that the party is worried and uh, they have all reason to be, to be honest. Armin Laschet has had a very hard time connecting with voters during this election campaign. And uh, when you look at the opinion polls, depending on which poll you look at, the CDU at the moment is around 22%, while the Social Democrats, who no one really saw as a real danger to the CDU just a month ago, is polling at around 25%. Now, that is a very small margin, but it shows you that the CDU can't be sure to win this election. And it's a really big question, in fact, as to whether how much we should read into those numbers, Anya, because polls show as much as 40% of the electorate are still undecided, a really big number there. First of all, why is that? And do we have any indication in terms of where those voters might swing? Well, that certainly has to do with the rather unique situation that Germany is facing at the moment. For years and decades, German uh, voters um, were used to having a chancellor who is really running for office, uh, often with a so-called chancellor bonus, because some voters tend to vote for people who they think they know. Well, this time it's different. We are having three candidates that have never been chancellor before. So it's kind of more unpredictable of what to expect. This is not something that German voters particularly like. They like things more predictable. Well, this time they are less predictable. So it might just take voters more time to decide. Political correspondent Anja Koch, thank you. Local candidates are also campaigning hard to win voters, especially those who feel that they are not often listened to. DW reporter Carolina Machaus traveled to Offenbach in western Germany, where one young social democrat is determined to give minorities a voice in politics. So the plan is, we'll take our good vibes with us and go down to the river and try to strike up a conversation with people. Hibetun Noor Kauser is 21 years old. She's a member of the Social Democrats and has a seat in the local council. She wants German politics to become more diverse. Hibbe was born in a refugee shelter in Germany after her parents fled religious persecution in Pakistan. She lives in Offenbach in western Germany. Over 60% of the residents here have a mixed background, but only about one in four of them has German citizenship and the right to vote. On average, they earn less than non-immigrants. The education system is a challenge, as is the labor market. Hello. Hi. Hello. There's a general election on September 26th. Are you going to vote? 
Sehr Can I ask you what the most pressing issues are for you in Germany? The man answers in Turkish. One of Hibba's colleagues translates. We are blue-collar workers. We want our salaries to reflect price increases. Groceries have become more expensive, so our salaries should rise too. Are you voting for SPD? <laughs> the conversations on the street continue. I grew up here. I'm from Offenbach, but I can't vote because I only have a Turkish passport. Yeah, it means decisions are made and you can't really have a say. I think it sucks, to be honest. What's your name? Hippa. Do you say it like that? With B, double B. OK, Hippa. In Germany, over 10 million residents don't have German citizenship and so don't have the right to vote in the federal election, although they live, work and pay taxes here. And those who have the right to vote often don't. One reason for that is a very one-sided election campaign. The problem is always that people aren't reached out to. That's not often done. Many speak to a very specific group who they think are the ones who definitely have the right to vote. It's mainly white people who they approach. But, for example, no attention is paid to people who look like me. But you can see that the conversation works when you talk to people. They're open to it and share their problems. It's raining outside, so the group takes a break. Many here believe that racism can only be countered if politics is more open to immigrants. You do something for society. You really involve yourself. You're politically engaged. Still, you always hear people say, wow, your German is really good. I can stand it for one or two days, but every day, it's really hurtful. I remember very well what Hibber went through too, that you're devalued just because you look different. There have been situations where people have told me, I won't vote a foreigner like you into parliament. Despite the odds, Hibber Tun Noor Kauser made it into Offenbach's local parliament. Now she wants more people from ethnic minorities to get a voice in the German Bundestag.